Pistol Nation. So we got a cool little video today. I was like thinking, well, what, what could I like talk about today? And I was like, you know what? Diamonds. Let's talk about diamonds and the best way to use them or get the most value from them. Because there's a lot of different ways you can spend your hard earned diamonds. And aside from earning them in the game, you can also buy them. So that makes it, you know, you definitely don't want to waste your real money on, you know, wasting your diamonds in the game. So I'm just going to briefly go over a few different ways you can use your diamonds because there's so many different ways. One thing I would definitely uh, look at first is the events. If you have any events going on that require you to use diamonds, I suggest using your diamonds in events because those usually give you bonuses like they stack on top of each other. So like sometimes we'll get this, uh, we'll get a bonus event for summoning and you'll, it'll be up here in the corner, like see where this little firebird is, like up here, it'll be a, a special emblem and you'll click the emblem and it'll take you somewhere else and it'll be like a special summoning event. And usually it'll have like special odds of getting uh, better characters or different things like that. So I suggest you look at the events first. You go in the store and you'll see these like limits. So like heart of the, and there's a limit and it's 70 gems, 70 diamonds. A limit of two and it tells you what you get so if this is what you need then this is a this is a good viable option to, you know spend your diamonds on but if it's not something you need then you don't need to that's another thing that I need to talk about is like the way I personally would spend my diamonds might necessarily be good for you right it, it all depends on what you're doing like your play style what you're trying to accomplish what you need uh, I'm going to do this one. This one right here is uh, limited seven days only and it has a limit of five, but we can unlock this character. So I'm going to do that. It's 450, which is a lot, but that's okay. So I just spent 450. I'm going to do it again. Now I have a total of 30, which is good. So let me go to heroes and we are going to summon a new hero. Check that out. Nice. Now... I would say this personally, like I would say don't waste it if you're not going to build your team around that character or like that hero, but I personally, I want to unlock everything. Like I want to have all the troops, I want to have all the heroes, I want to have everything. So it doesn't matter, like I'm going to spend the gems and get it. I just, you know what I mean? It's not a problem for me, I wanted him. Uh, another big thing, and this is where they get you or gotcha is the summoning altar so if you go over here to the summoning altar right here free once every 24 hours you should always be doing this and getting your free one but if you check it out it says 300 gems to just buy one and there's some uh, special abilities you can get in the game where it'll make your first purchase half off so i always suggest you get your free one and then do your first purchase off of 150 gems so it's, uh, i keep saying gems instead of diamonds 150 diamonds off so it's cheaper I personally don't really suggest you go crazy with this I mean it depends you know if you spend 10 you'll guaranteed an SR unit but this is a gamble this is gambling you know I don't it could go either way you could get something really good or you could get something really bad it's not necessarily a, a great way to spend your diamonds but it's it's a way to spend your diamonds one thing that i highly suggest and i think is the best way to spend your diamonds is go to the artifacts and i think this is the best way to spend your diamonds to be honest is the the astrology astrology astrologer uh sometimes they'll have special events with these hot spots where they'll drop uh different artifacts and stuff but this is what I think is like the best way to spend your gems. I just think this is the, you get so much more value out of it. And then, you know, as you spend more, you're going to uh, get guaranteed purple artifacts. And the reason I say this is just simply like the, uh, where is it? The amount of power you get from these artifacts is just so much. Like you get so much power, like total artifact power right now, 70 over 75,000 of my power is just from artifacts. They're so strong. And then as you like go deeper, like the legendary ones, if you can collect all the legendary ones, I mean, their bonuses are insane. 
So I highly suggest you use your gems on getting as many artifacts as you can. Like these artifacts are so strong. And the more you do, you'll get guaranteed uh, purple. And then if you go and do 20, you'll have a guaranteed uh, chance to get an orange artifact. And I'm telling you, this is, I think this is like the best place to get like the biggest power spike in the game is through the artifact. Uh, there's other ways you can spend your diamonds too, like if you need some gold or stuff. But that again, that's suggestive. That's like if you need it. But like again, I don't really suggest you spend diamonds or gems on uh, gold or unit XP. Like this is stuff you can get just from playing the campaign or playing the story missions or doing, you know, trials of angels and just all these other different, there's so many different ways to get it. You can go to the gate, right? And you can get it through here. You can get gold from the Dwarven treasury. You can get your um, XP from the crypt. So there's just a lot of other ways to get that stuff, but it's very, very hard to get the artifacts. Like you can't really just get artifacts that easily out in the game. The altar too, I like I said, you can actually get some of these puzzle pieces for the characters out in the game. I mean, there's some of them are a little bit harder to pull and this will increase your chances slightly, but I just don't like it. I think the artifacts is the way to go. If you're gonna spend your gems, I would personally say use it on the artifacts. That's like the biggest power increase you're gonna get and it's gonna help your team out so much. So I hope y'all enjoyed this little tips video on how to spend your diamonds and get the best uses out of them. Hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Pistol whip that like button if you enjoyed this video at all. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.